to control... Hello cycling fans everywhere. The last 30 kilometers in the Auvergne mountains are conducive to attacks. We should see plenty of movement with the favorites for the overall standings obliged to come to the fore. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. They're stepping on the pedal behind. His team is at full throttle. They have no one at the front. He's trying to set up a counter-attack. Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy for an attack! The breakaway riders are increasing the gap. They are not dangerous for the overall standing. Can let them go. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. The gap is decreasing. The peloton has not given up. Breakaway is five kilometers from the intermediate sprint. our leader. Communication is important. That's why we have TeamCom. Okay, I'll wait for you. The breakaway is upping the tempo at the head of the race. It doesn't intend to be caught up that easily.
Last time check with a breakaway. One minute. The gap is widening. No need to panic, guys. There's nobody dangerous for the overall standings. King of the Mountain sprint in two kilometers for the breakaway group. The breakaway is passing through the feed zone. The breakaway is losing its lead. It's going to be difficult for them. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. The riders up front still have something left. They're upping the pace to try to hold out till the end. There will be two and one point for the mountain standings. King of the mountain sprint in two kilometers for the breakaway group. Last time check with the breakaway, one minute. The gap is growing, don't worry. They're not well placed in the overall standings. It's a fast descent to the Col du Pertu. Riders will have to stay vigilant because there are some sharp bends ahead. The lead rider is at the foot of the Col du Pertu, the penultimate climb of the day. King of the Mountain sprint in two kilometers for the breakaway group. Okay, we'll consume a feed. The lead rider is at the foot of the final climb of the day. It's going to be difficult for him to hold off those behind him. Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy for an attack. Riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. You still have two kilometers before you reach the summit. being left behind. It's good news for the overall standing. Only one kilometer to the top, and we still don't know who's going to win. The finish will be settled after 600 meters of false flat.
He succeeded in avoiding all the pitfalls to win today. Here is today's stage winner. He found a way to master his rivals in all. We can say he tops the. He tops the. He tops. Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We were the pre-race favourites, and you lived up to the role with Brio. Well done for this win. It's the final stage, guys. Today's route is hilly and a leg breaker. Perfect for attacking. Hello everyone, this stage, ridden through the Nice hinterland, could prove to be eventful. With difficulties all along the route, there will be numerous opportunities to go on the offensive. <laughs> Attempt at a breakaway. He's trying to set up a counter attack. This stage must be a part of his objectives because his teammates are already managing the time gap. His teammates are accelerating. They're no doubt readying the intermediate sprint. 
and the first 15 to pass the intermediate sprint score points towards the green jersey. Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy for an attack. The breakaway has 30 seconds lead. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. got one minute 30 over the peloton. It turned out to be a good move. The race is on to the first climb of the day, the Côte de Levance. A first difficulty that should allow the main front to widen the gap. Riders are already being dropped at the back of the peloton. It won't be a great day for them. Still have two kilometers before reaching the climb. Reduce the tempo or you'll pay the price. most dangerous in the breakaway for the yellow jersey. 30 seconds lead for the head of the race. The breakaway is upping the tempo at the head of the race. It doesn't intend to be caught up that easily. King of the Mountain sprint in two kilometers for the breakaway group. The riders are now attacking the Côte de Calaison, the last king of the mountain summit, and classified as a category two. The head of the race has one and a half minutes lead on the peloton. There are just over 50 kilometers left in the race. With the Côte de Pay and the Col d'Ez, we can say that the race is entering its closing phase. And if anyone wants to try to blow the race apart, then we'll be able to go on the attack from now on. Last time checked with a breakaway. One minute. The end of the stage is not far off. Stay awake. It will soon start to move in the peloton. The 
gap is growing. Don't worry. They're not well placed in the overall standings. The site of many final stages, especially in the form of a time trial, the Col d'Ez is a quasi-inevitable climb for the Paris-Nice. Riders such as Stephen Roche, Tony Rominger, or more recently, Richie Porte, have won there. No one has managed to get away on the Col d'Ez. We'll no doubt see a small group of riders fight at the sprint of the Promenade des Anglais. Watch out! You'll soon have no more energy for an attack. from the finish for the men in the lead. They can believe it's possible. He's moving on to the attack. He's turning the screw. Peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. Collective fall. It may create gaps. He's amongst the leading riders this year. He took weekends. This result is clearly not up to my expectations. It isn't catastrophic, but when you've got victory in mind, it's...